In this lesson, I am doing a men's nose wax and he has facial hair, as you can see. So you have a couple different options. So you can use oil on a cotton round and dab right here on the mustache to make sure to add a little added layer of protection and a barrier. And then what I also prefer to do is use a body waxing stick, have your client hold, and you're going to cover the mustache this way. So when we are doing nose waxing, you do not want to be going up too high into the nasal cavity. So you're just grabbing a little bit of wax on your stick, like a nose pop, like I went over in our lesson on the six different types of strips that you need to know. One of the things I check for is that it's not too runny. So I actually will give it a little bit of time on my stick before applying because when it's runny like this, it really can tend to um, smudge out and go or go too deep into the nose. I like to use my left hand to hold, and then we're just gonna go superficially right here and get all those little hairs that tend to stick out. I like to give it a couple twists and then pinch at the end and then we're gonna allow that time to set. So I really like using the stick because I don't have to be as precise. The stick's going to block any excess spillage of wax. So to know when your strip or your nose pop is ready to remove, when you touch the wax, if it's stringing behind on your finger like this, it still needs more time to set. So we're going to give that enough time to set. This is one of the most important things when doing a nose wax is that we don't remove this too soon. If we do, it can actually um, tear some of that skin on the inner nose, which is really thin, and we don't want to create any discomfort or bleeding. Um, you can have allergy issues if you do go up too high. Nose hairs are really important. They're actually a filtration system for our body, so if you remove too much, your client's going to deal with sneeze attacks, and it's just really uncomfortable. So again, make sure we are not going up into the nasal cavity at all. We're just getting any of those little hairs that tend to pop out. So once your wax is still moldable, but it's not stringing behind on your finger, that's when it's re ready to remove. So I like to use my left hand and put my palm on their forehead, hold the bridge of their nose, get a grip and remove quickly. And then I pinch and just put immediate pressure. All right, now I'm going to give him another stick to protect his mustache and we will do the other side. So same thing, we're doing a nose pop. I grabbed even less wax. We really don't need that much wax and it's gonna be nice and effective. Making sure it's not too runny, that is perfect consistency. Left hand, gonna go right in this little gap here. Do a couple twists and then pinch with your stick facing this way. So you're not pinching into the stick and causing any discomfort to your client. All right, I see a few missed hairs on this side, so I'm gonna get just a very minimal amount of wax on my stick. And I'm gonna do a little cleanup. I wanna make sure it's nice and cool. I'm just gonna go right there, give a little twist and pinch. Now I usually avoid doing both at the same time unless my client's okay with it. You wanna make sure they're not gonna feel claustrophobic and that they're breathing though through their mouth, of course. So just give them a warning on that. All right, so this side is ready to remove. Left hand again, holding taut and remove. Immediate pressure. So surprisingly, a nose wax is not painful. When you are, I don't know if you guys have ever like tweezed a little hair at a time and your eyes start watering, it's super uncomfortable. Surprisingly, when you're waxing um, nose, it does not feel like that at all. It almost feels like a little plunger or pressure. So this is a really great add-on to um, encourage your clients to try. Once they try it, they'll never go back. It's just the cleanest feeling and it lasts so long. So to end a nose wax service, we're not applying any aftercare or any, anything like that. We're just double checking to make sure that we got all those little superficial hairs that kind of hang out. Again, we're not going up into the nasal cavity and then that's it. You're not applying any ointment or oils or anything.